Zoe asks, I need to adjust my road bike's headset, but it has a carbon steer tube and I'm not sure how to use the compression plug. Any advice? Most modern road bikes, including aluminum framed ones, now come with carbon forks and carbon steer tubes. Because of the more delicate nature of carbon, setting a traditional star nut into the steer tube as you would on an aluminum fork is no longer an option. That's where a compression plug or steer tube expander, as some call it, comes in handy. A compression plug is placed into a carbon steer tube to keep the front end happy and tight, but should you need to pull the fork and cut the steer tube or adjust the headset, you'll need to know how to use it. To remove a compression plug, use an appropriately sized Allen and remove the top cap from the compression plug assembly. Before removing the compression plug itself, you'll want to make sure your stem bolts are still tight on the steer tube so that your fork doesn't drop out of the headset. Finally, using the necessary Allen, loosen the compression plug and remove it from the steer tube completely. You can now disassemble your stem, handlebars, and fork as necessary. Before installing the assembly, make sure the compression plug and the top cap are pulled apart. The most important part about installing the assembly is that you install and tighten the compression plug completely before doing anything with your top cap or stem. This can be done with or without the stem on the steer. Simply drop the compression plug into the steer tube, use the appropriately sized Allen wrench, and tighten the plug to the recommended torque spec. If you can't find one, go with 5 newton meters. Install the stem onto the steerer if it wasn't before, but don't tighten the stem bolts. Then, making sure that you've got at least one spacer on top of your stem, install your top cap and begin to tighten it down. While grabbing your front brake, rock the bike back and forth. Continue tightening down the top cap until you no longer feel any knocking sensations and the handlebars still turn freely and easily. If no amount of tightening eliminates the knocking, then try adding another 2.5 or 5 mm spacer on top of your stem and try it again. Once you have eliminated any knocking with the brake test and steering is still smooth, simply line up the stem and tighten the pinch bolts down to the manufacturer's torque spec. Thanks for watching. If you want your question answered on Ask a Mechanic presented by Art Cyclery, send your inquiry to content at artcyclery.com.